Okay, so thank you so much for joining me. My name is Jen. I'm a former librarian and I'm so happy to, I guess I'm still a current librarian, but um, I joined Novelist a little while ago and I'm so happy. I don't know if you know this, but we are a company of librarians um, who um, we have over 25 on staff and then we work with librarians and book experts around the world. Um, so this is really our passion and hopefully um, you're going to enjoy uh, using Novelist a little bit more after this. Do I hear someone? Okay, so feel free um, as I... Hi, is that Cynthia? Yes. Oh, great. Okay. This is Jen. I'm, I can hear I'm you. Sorry. I'm sorry. We're having trouble getting in. We're not sure we know what we're doing. Okay, no problem. Can you see my screen? I see novelists empowering okay. libraries. Yes, yes, that's that's us. So I was just giving a short introduction, and now I'm going to get uh, right into it. Okay, so um, today my goals for us uh, we're just going to take a quick look at the home page and hopefully through all the different scenarios we're going to walk through, you'll be able to um, quickly find read-alikes, you'll know more about our story elements, um, you'll n be familiar with our recommended reads list, know how to do um, kind of more complex advanced searching, and see all of the other um, available options within Novelist Plus. So as I was saying, uh, feel free to, to either chat me a question or um, ask a question as we go along. I am recording this. I will also follow up um, with all of the links that I show you um, at this um, during this session. So I thought we would take this um, with a from an approach of how this might be a, a daily, um, a day-to-day -day thing in your library. So what your daily uh, patron walk up might be like. So just jump right in because I know you get a lot of different questions um, every day. So I'm in Durham, North Carolina. Um, and uh, my first point before I started was uh, you also want to make sure that Novelist is easily findable on your website. So what Durham County has done is you go to find materials and it's right here under Reader's Corner. There's also all kinds of buttons you can get to put in different places, um, but it's really nice to name it something that is intuitive. You can even name it like reading recommendations. I have um, a launch guide that I can share with you that has some ideas for increasing novelist usage if you find that that's something that um, you're wanting to do. But so here we go. Uh, this is the novelist um, homepage. And we're just going to jump right in and say um, maybe a patron, a favorite patron, comes up and has just finished a book in a book club and wants to read more just like it. So um, we have hopefully made that very easy for you and your patron. So today we're going to search The Hate You Give. And you'll see right away you have this pop-up, the title pop-up, and you have quite a bit of information that you can look at just right away. So I wanted to bring your attention at the top here, lists and articles. This is, um, I think, a, a overlooked section sometimes, but we have all kinds of articles that our book experts have written, that our own librarians have written. Um, this gives you ideas for displays that can feature this award, I mean this book, award, I saw this award, award, uh, different awards it's won. So really this is a great resource um, for your, for your library, for you, in addition to your patrons. But we'll go back. Um, you can see right away, you can either just click on title read-alikes here or author read-alikes. Um, each one of those is going to, well, the title read likes will give you up to nine recommendations. So you can click and go to that immediately, but we're going to give you, we're going to go right into the record to see what the complete record looks like. So on the right, you'll see, of course, all the read likes that are um, offered, recommended. You have, of course, audiobooks, more about those books, lists and articles. Um, 
But you also have at the very bottom, you can do um, searches for more like this book. So we, this is all the metadata that is tagged um, with, this, with this title. And so you can, if, a, if you know um, a patron likes certain specific characteristics, you can click on that and search again, as many as you'd like to search. You can also see up here that these are all um, echoed up here. Um, so this is a quick way for your patron to see, oh, okay, so um, I really want to read more books about facing racism. And so that's a theme, um, a theme that's offered in Novelist. You'll see right here under Storyline, uh, we have Own Voices. That's one of our new um, storylines offered. And that um, was um, inspired by the hashtag. So all of these Own Voices storylines feature a protagonist and an author um, from a marginalized group. So um, we're really excited about this new offering um, and giving you some great diverse reads. So that will hopefully will be a quick answer to your patron's question of, um, I want to read more books like The Hate You Give. So say a patron comes in and doesn't have a specific um, uh, author they like, but they know they liked um, The Martian. So they either want to read more books by that author or more um, books by authors like that. Um, so, again, you could access this a couple of different ways. You can either click directly here down to author readalikes, or say you wanted to know a little bit more about this specific author, so you can click on this hyperlink underneath the title, Andy Weir. And now every time you click on a specific author, you're going to get this really great um, short description less, that's less biographical information and more gives you information about um, what it is this author writes. Their style, um, their different themes, their, what their prose is. Um, and you'll also see, of course, on the right, you, this is a quick way to get the author readalikes. You can hover over the little magnifying glass and get a quick overview or click into that author to continue finding more information about different authors. You can go down to the bottom and see um, different books that this author has written. Again, we have all these metadata tags that you can um, search for again. And then probably a really great aspect for me is if, especially if this author uh, has written across genres or audience levels, um, they often, uh, we often recommend a starting point. So this here we say start with The Martian. But you might see under genre here that um, hard science fiction and science fiction. So what, what's the difference between the two? Um, we do have our appeal terms. Um, and if you do want to know maybe what the difference is, you can go up this orange um, toolbar here is going to be your best friend in Novelist if you need to find something. So go up to How Do I, and then all the way down to Learn How to Use Novelist. And you can just type in, um, you can do it a couple of different ways, but genre is part of our larger umbrella term of story elements, so that's appeal term, um, genre guide, and themes. So you'll see here genre terms. Um, and you can quickly navigate all the different kinds of genres we have, genres and subgenres, but we wanted to look at um, science fiction. So here is defined for you the difference between hard science fiction and science fiction. So um, this puts science in science fiction. I still, um, that's, that's a great explanation. So um, that's a quick way to look at all of our genres. A great thing to also remember within that genre guide. Oh, let me go back to it. Did I close out of it completely? We have these ones called library helpers, library search helpers. 
these are not your typical genres, but these are really like, we know that you get these questions all the time. So um, books to movies, for instance, books to TV, um, we have ones for reluctant readers, um, movie tie-ins, high interest, low vocabulary. Um, so these are like frequent, um, frequently asked questions that you need a way to search quickly for. So that, that hides within our genre guide. So let's go to another scenario. Um, say you have a patron who heard about a book either through just reading um, uh, somebody was on an interview and just wants to know who that author is, what what else, what other what they have written. Um, so this particular patron picked up the Witch Elm. And we can again see right here. The great thing about this is I, I think it um, shows you how much you can find within novelists. So say, you know, not only do you have the information here, but within the description you can see, oh, what's this Dublin Murder Squad books? So you can, of course, copy that and search that some more. And so you see the Dublin Murder Squad books. You can also see, so you can go right up here to the Series tab. Underneath this, I think this is so, so helpful, you can see alternate series name, Rob Ryan and Cassie Maddox novels. So we know that not sometimes series are not frequently called um, by their official names, so, such as Game of Thrones. Um, so this is a way you can search a variety of ways within Novelist to find the same information. So if you searched Rob Ryan and Kathy Maddox, um, it would still pull up these books. Uh, you get the series, series order, read-alikes, um, again, all of the great information that you have throughout, um, throughout Novelist. So we're going to um, pretend now that all the patrons have gone away. You've answered all their questions, so you get to browse around on your own um, in Novelist. We'll go back to the home page. Clicking on this button on the top left will always take you to the home page. Now we're all about um, recommendations here at Novelist. We have created um, appeal terms, appeal language that is unique to Novelist, and it's all of these terms that we hope um, help you, help your readers really drill down into what it is they love to read um, in books. So it's a very quick way to access a whole bunch of different types of appeals is right here in the middle, right when you first log in. So you'll see they're broken up by audience levels. You can search these four different levels. Um, and then we, our librarians, come up with some predefined um, appeal mixes, and these change seasonally, like, you know, before Halloween there were a lot of creepy and at atmospheric, um, so th these change. But say you don't see anything that you would really like to read, so you can go right under here and try our appeal mixer. You can create your own mixer. And the nice thing about this, while you, um, while you do this appeal mixer, you can highlight something. So I'm going to say writing style. This gives you right here our main appeal language. And then it will give you all kinds of options. So I want to say lyrical. You can do, you know, mix and match. You can add different ones. Again, up here, you can do it by audience level. So I'm going to find titles with a lyrical writing style and it's going to populate here. The nice thing is you can hover over individual titles or you can go to view all here. So you'll see it gave me over 5,000 um, results. Now then on the left, that's where you can really further narrow your search with all of these limiters. So you can break it down by audience level, fiction, nonfiction. You can either go further, you can even go further into by genre, of course, themes, 
and further through our appeal language. So you can hopefully really um, narrow down what it is that your patron would really like to, to read. So this is fun to just kind of do again and again, because of course, if you click on something, you can continue refining within that. So we're gonna go back to the home page. Below the appeal section, as it loads, you're going to find the genre section. So um, we frequently call, refer to genre in the headlights. So say, um, you know, we don't all have time to read every genre or to know about every genre. So um, this is where these options are going to come in very handy. So I do a lot of the adults, so let's go to teens. So if you click on the teen genre browse, it's going to give you um, a, eventually, sorry, WebEx slows everything down a little bit. It's going to highlight kind of some of our current um, genres that we're adding things to. But of course, you can also go here to the top drop down menu um, and look at more. Let's look at it, thrills and chills. So this will be broken down further into mysteries, horror, and again, you can do the same thing where you view all and then further narrow down um, with, with limiters and, and metadata that you'd like. Let me show you adult because that's where you'll see um, many, many different genres. Um, and again, this is, we, we frequently update this with different themes. We're always adding to our subgenres. Um, we just added, um, was it histor uh, something with romance, gothic romance. Um, we're doing a whole bunch of different subgenre uh, blog posts. So um, we're constantly looking for new things to add and improve. Back to, um, to the genre section. So say uh, you just wanted to have some, some um, more information about certain genres. You have some time on your hands, or maybe you're having to lead a discussion. You can go underneath um, featured read-alikes. It's this keeping up section. So I'm just going to click on biography and memoir. This is kind of a cheat sheet for you. It gives you a quick um, overview about biography and memoir. It connects you to a whole bunch of different lists um, broken down by audience levels um, that, that feature biography and memoir. Um, you get different like training things. You can have suggestions. And then every one of these keeping up pages offers you a, an updated printable. So um, you can click this and print it right out to use it for a display or any kind of information you'd like. So we also update these frequently. There's other RA resources here, uh, famous female writers, Gilded Age notables. So these are really great if you want to know more about genres um, or want to direct a patron who might be working on something or interested um, into finding more information. Now we're going to, I've talked about themes a couple of times, so that is our new release um, as part of the story elements. Um, so those are, of course, those recurring plot uh, devices and genres. And so um, that's really great if you have a patron who says, I don't care who the author is, I don't care what the title is, I just want a book um, where robots take on humans. Um, or there's always a secret baby, or friends to lovers. So um, that's a really uh, nice way we're finding to create another access point for you to talk to your patrons about what kind of books they like. So again, you can go to this Learn How to Use Novelist. This is really a great um, starting point for any question you have. Um, I believe I can just try type in themes. And that will bring up our theme term here. 
if you just want to look at what we have so far, we're, we're always adding more. We started with the bigger, um, bigger genres now. So you'll see you can easily click and see all of the different themes. Um, so I'm going to do, this is really helpful for, uh, especially for like children's books and board books that might be harder to get at the real um, meat of the book beyond the Library of Congress headings. So yeah, you'll do your field code search, which is TH. And one of our themes is we used to be friends. So that's going to populate again, quite a few results, 128 results. And you can narrow that down. So I want to focus on a younger crowd. I'm going to, um, I limited it to younger children. No results, that's not right. Um, <laughs> I know it's not right. So we'll, we'll search that again, but do it with a different, um, I probably needed to do the next next one up. That's probably better because teens. I have a nine-year-old who thinks she's 16, so um, this would be helpful. So then there you have right away uh, 35 um, We Used to Be Friends themes that you can then, of course, narrow down even further um, by, you know, different genres uh, and different appeal, appeal, term, appeal terms, excuse me. So again, uh, maybe you're like, what, what is this TH, the field codes? Um, these are really great ways to quickly search in Novelist. Um, if you wanted to um, learn more about the, uh, the field codes, again, you go to how, learn how to use Novelist. And that's actually right on the main page. Where did it go? <laughs> um, let me close this. Sometimes it defaults to, okay. So when you open it up the very first time, maybe I am, okay. Looking, but it was just right there. Well, it, uh, there we go. Check out our resource for advanced searching using field codes. It's in our idea center. There's a couple of different flavors of things you can look at. Um, we have these really nice search strategies that are printable, very printable, that cover a, a lot of different topics. This is your speed search for field, field, co field codes. But this cheat sheet is super helpful. It's a PDF. You can um, print it out. It gives you all the things that I mentioned. So appeal factors here. You can search AP Funny. I'm doing TH, which is theme. Um, GN is genre. So once you know these field codes, it's really easy to search um, uh, for a specific, to really narrow down that search really quickly. But say you don't have that cheat sheet with you. Um, but you still want to search a little bit um, more refined from the get-go. Get so go to your advanced search page here underneath the keyword box. And if you click on the select a field, it's going to give you um, the main ones. So you can search by title, author, genre, appeal factor. So you don't always have to remember what your field codes are because um, you can easily choose them here and combine with different, different field codes. This is also a great page. We say don't fear the advanced search page because um, this is a quick way to find your Lexile range. So say you have um, a reader come in and say, I have to read a book at Lexile range, um, at Lexile level 650. So um, you can easily just type in 650. Um, I'm gonna clear that. This is um, really wonderful because I think some people um, have a preset idea of what kind of book they'll have to read because it's a certain level. So this is great to show people that, you know, there's really so many books uh, across all different Lexile levels that they can find something they would like to re read, something that they're interested in. I had a recent librarian who told me that she had a, um, uh, a book club where the only uh, requirement was that the, the younger reader um, had to find a book 
um, about a person that was different than them. So for that instance, uh, it's really easy. Here you can uh, limit to searching by author's nationality or author's cultural identity. Um, that's just a really quick way, obviously, or even gender, to, um, to narrow down from a really broad pool. Also, you can search, I think, very helpful for audiobooks, um, down to the point where running time. So say a patron comes in and says, I am going to be in a car for so many hours, and I want um, 18 plus hours of a book. And so you can really quickly narrow down audiobook information. But I'm going to take that, oh, I'm going to, no, I don't want that. Um, I'm going to search for that Lexile score at 650. There's also accelerated reader levels, and that's probably there because I searched for um, audiobook, yes. We're having a day today. So that's just, uh, we'll just move on. That's um, a quick way to do the Lexile levels. And then again, on the left side of their screen, you would populate, um, you would have all of those limiters that you could further narrow down. Um, I did want to draw your attention to this left side. Our, our librarians here create, create quite a bit of um, new content and with the hopes of providing you all kinds of information for your readers. So on the left are our recommended reads lists. Again, you can break them down by audience level, by fiction or nonfiction. Um, these are going to feature about 20 titles each, and they're going to skew to newer titles. Um, but they're really wonderful. They're great for um, book clubs. You'll see if I click on them, they're broken down into different sections. There's already some best of lists. These are very printable, so you can print them off and give them to your patrons. You can use them to create book displays. Um, we're always adding more and ones that are themed, of course, to the appropriate season or, or different things happening in, in the, the country or the world. For fans of is one of our favorite lists, and that is where we have tried to um, really uh, keep up with what's going on out there. And um, so if someone says, I just binge watched all of The Handmaid's Tale, what can I read um, that's like that? You can go to this list and recommend, um, recommend give some suggestions. Now we do keep an eye on these lists, so there's, um, there are, like in the teen section, there's a teen appropriate Black Panther list. There's a teen appropriate Game of Thrones. Whether they choose to look at the teen appropriate, you know, that's up to them. But we do, we also, like Taylor Swift six years ago is different than Taylor Swift now. So we, we do make sure that we are reevaluating and making sure everything is fitting, um, fitting what's going on in the world. All right, so, oh, and I did want to highlight some popular children's ones, um, especially, I feel like this little age group, I leave them out all the time. So, um, one, a couple of great ones, always in demand, have the ones that you're always going to get questions about, ABCs, dinosaurs, um, and then I feel, I feel angry, happy, kind. So um, really great and easy to find books that, that deal with these emotions. We talked briefly about um, the search strategies. These are going to, um, I'll, I'll send those. I also wanted to look at uh, our awards. So you can either get that through up here, browse by on the top um, toolbar, award winners, or there's also a section at the very bottom. We track over a thousand awards um, in Novelist. So these are broken up. We have the recent awards, popular awards, awards by genre, and then awards by audience level. Uh, these are broken up by audience level. So um, really quickly, uh, a way to get not just the, the recent award winner, but all links to all of the past award winners. So um, especially if you're wanting to make maybe a display of, you know, they just announced the Agatha Award. So here's all the past Agatha Award winners, um, all kinds of great information there. Now, uh, one of the last things I want to do for you with you guys is kind of look 
over these, these other things that are offered at the top um, at your toolbar. So the author read-alikes is um, kind of a beefed up version of what I mentioned before, whereas it's going to have all kinds of information about that writer, um, read-alikes for that writer, um, all really a nice article that tells you why someone would like to read, read books by this person. They're broken up again by genre, um, and you can really um, find a lot of information there. We have these curricular, oh, for the book discussion guides. So say you have a, a book club that comes to you and says, um, I have, um, we're going to read these books. Um, can you help me with that? Or say you have to jump in really quickly and lead a book discussion. These are really great because they have a summary. I think they're like the cliff notes of a book discussion group. They have questions. Um, to ask. They also have the answers, which is fabulous, or some answers for you to start with. So it's a nice, um, nice resource for book clubs. And then a little bit of a, uh, information about the author and also, of course, read-alikes. Curricular connections at the oh, back all the way to the top. That's where we have experts um, create different uh, different articles around a theme. So um, navigating fake news in the classroom, they're going to give you a little introduction um, and then some lesson ideas and different books you can read, um, different titles you can use. So um, especially if you have homeschool groups or, or teachers come in that would like some really current content, we update this frequently with um, more information. And you can search on the left just like you search for other reading recommendations. I want to make sure you know about our feedback button on the top right here. We love your feedback. We really, really want to hear how it is to use novelists, what you're loving, what you wish would, would be there. So we do um, all get that and we answer it um, very quickly. And then hopefully you know about the foldering option here at the top, very top right. You can um, create a folder to save everything. So um, what you do is you go and sign in. You'll have to create an account. Um, I have an account and hopefully it has the right password. So uh, just one simple login. You see that you'll know that it's activated because it'll say my novelist here on the left and then it'll also say, you know, not Jennifer at the top right. But you'll see um, I have on the left, I have these are the, the folders that I've started. And I can, um, as I go through, so say I, I'm going to go back to the home page. Um, and I just wanted to add, you probably saw the little folder icon that popped up. So I can quickly add that to my folder. You can also um, add it to a specific folder within your folder. Um, it's easy to move them around once you get them in. So this is great for like stashing books for story time or say you have a patron who always comes in and wants a certain kind of book. You can create searches that alert you to when new materials have come into novelists that might match um, interests of yours. So the full, it's really, and if you have library aware, you can also create a folder um, for say a book list or a book display and then push all of that information over into Library Aware to create your promotional materials. The last thing I'll show you is our Idea Center. Um, if I can get to it. And I'll be sure to, um, to send you all of these links. But it's just off of our main website. Um, this is our Idea Center. Great information on reader's advisory tips. Um, the learn section is where you'd go. Uh, all kinds of ways to use novelists. This is where a lot of the um, search, the things I search, like the genre terms, the search strategies, you can also find them here, but I wanted to show you how to find them within the product. Um, so this is a great way 
this will connect you to our um, tutorials that we have on YouTube. We have, I think, over 100. Most of them are under three minutes, and they're closed captioned. So if you're wanting to kind of um, work on your skills as you're, maybe you have a slow shift, you can watch it um, from, your, from your desktop there. You can also access support and training from our Novelist website. There's a, you can sign up for more training or watch recorded training. And then this far right newsletters, you can sign up for all kinds of newsletters to receive. Um, Book Squad is great. They do genre, um, different genres every month. Novelist news, we give all kinds of tips and uh, information. I wanted to open up in our last couple of minutes to see if anyone had questions or, or wanted um, me to show anything that I did. Okay, it looks like, oh, looks like no questions. Um, well, I, oh wait, can you show me how to get to the Idea Center page? So you have a couple of ways. So say you're in Novelist Plus, you can go up right back up here to how do I oh, learn how to use Novelist. That's going to be um, a quick way to get to everything because we do have so much. And you can quickly go here to our Idea Center. And that will give you, this has um, things for educators, it has ways, this is where the link is to um, uh, learn how to better promote novelists or other um, different things within your, within your library. But um, there's, there's all kinds of stuff there. Or if you just want to search novelists in Google, it's, it's off of our main website this far, it's this orange idea center. support and uh, the latest also this is where it's gonna we have our blogs and you can also um, search we're going to have this whole series of webinars um, that we are joining with library reads they're going to be um, on focusing on different genres throughout all of next year so the first one is science fiction and they're going to go through a whole bunch of different ones I think nine maybe different webinars throughout the year so this is where you find any kind of webinars we're promoting um, we just had one on themes so you could search themes this was a really really great um, website or webinar let's see There's a short YouTube, to, oh, 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 goodness, <laughs> that started. So this was a wonderful, really wonderful um, webinar. It's about 45 minutes long, then with some training, some novelist training um, afterwards um, about how we develop themes and how you can use it. So we have all of our past um, webinars on our website. So um, if it's something that lots of readers advisory um, blogs and webinars, uh, really, we want to make sure you have um, the resources that you need. Any other questions? Let me put up my information. Um, so, let's see. This is my information, jhewerscott at ebsco.com. That's J-H-E-U-E-R, Scott. Feel free, if you um, think of another question, you can email me or you can email, um, of course, go to that feedback bar on the Novelist site. Um, and uh, I'm so thankful for having the time to talk with you today and uh, have a great one. Thank you, you too. Thank you.